Hey! Hello there! <laughs> um, finally I'm using this new camera that I bought to use. Anyway, uh, this is the Valentine's Day special, because why not? I've got some stuff over here. Uh, basically I got, uh, I don't, I don't just got, w w yeah, I got all this stuff. Possibly even a dad over there. <laughs> And now uh, he's getting blocked off by the bags. Anyway. There you go. Perfect. Don't worry, I'm not a ghost. Anyway. I'm just gonna try some stuff. There you go. Why the heck not? Anyway, I got these stupid caramel vanilla marshmallow thingies. What could these possibly be? Oh yeah, now I can actually unwrap stuff on camera. There you go. So the old ashen style is done and over with. Because, um, at least a horrible sound balancing. Anyway. <coughs> I do have something in case of a stuttering baggage. Anyway, let's try a marshmallow. It's caramel and vanilla flavor. So, And if you want to try anything at any time, then, uh, you, you can pop in. There you go. I mean, yeah, that's what you would expect. Caramel vanilla. Have fun with your yum. Yeah, crap. How about, how about no? That's a horrible tag. That's a, that's a ridiculous tagline. Why, why would you do... Why would you say that? Anyway, next up I purely got because of the name. Pika Slice. It, it says Pika Slice. How could I go wrong? I'm um, pretty sure Feudal is going to fill me in on this one because I don't know what these are. Apparently, it's a chili covered watermelon thing. So, there you go. Some kind of lollipop contraption. <coughs> I'm not into this Mexican stuff. Alright, anyway. I can see that. The stick is coated in red. I am, I am afraid. Quality, ladies and gentlemen. The bag is open before I even purchase the thing. I feel like this thing is going to be infested with maggots. Anyway. Well, it's definitely a watermelon covered in chili. Oh, I'm about to regret all my life decisions. Alright, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Pikachu, what's up, man? Why are you so mean? God, what do I wait for? I bet if I wash this away, though, the watermelon is not even going to be good. What? I'm getting rid of this chill chili shenanigans. I'm not going to sit here for hours. Yeah, I know, I'm a wimp when it comes to spice. Just... I'm not gonna sit here for three hours and taste a watermelon candy. Actually, the watermelon underneath is pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I was expecting it to taste terrible. The chili does wear away after a while. I know you're biting through that. <laughs> if you have the patience for those, the more power to you.
After this, you can you can chill out. At least the stick looks semi presentable now. Yeah. Anyway. Alright, next up, we got. Ooh, these are the ones. Literally, my mom asked about these, and then I didn't even know they existed. Jolly Rancher Lemon Flavor. I'm just trying to see if I can, uh. see myself. Am I even. Hold on, yeah, Dad, can you check something out real quick? Has my head been visible this whole time on the camera? <coughs> Can you see my face or no? No. Crap. It's right about where your mouth is. Well, there you go. Time to go grab another uh, height, height expanding thing. Um. It's not a Reaper Vegas project without technical difficulties. I'm just carving against humanity. Surely, surely, mom won't mind. Let's try not to not, not have a calamity here. There you go. So now it should be good. There you go. Right? No. Now it's right across your glasses. <laughs> but here. Now it's across your forehead. Okay, that's good enough. I mean, maybe I can back up. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, film 101 <laughs> with that with Reaper and Daddy Vegas. Just get a few more inches out of that. In the meantime, I'm gonna eat me some lemon candy. That's a strong lemon right there. These are lemon Jolly Ranchers. I've never had these before. Cut yourself? No, splinter. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Surgery. Anyway. Yeah. So two dead in the high school shooting. Quality content. Anyway, uh, let's try this lemon candy. Oh. This tastes like a lemon head with the consistency of Jolly Rancher. Are they made by the same company? Hershey. I'm pretty sure Hershey makes lemon head. So these are literally just lemon heads in a Jolly Rancher's body. Talk about some invasion of the body snatchers and stuff. We got these mystery Oreo things. Now, one uh, interesting experiment I wanted to take partake is mystery Oreos. How do they taste? And then, is it a mystery if these have been deep fried before? And then I could do deep fried mystery Oreos and be the first person to ever do that. Then I can make world history. I wanted to be all awesome and present it like, oh, I just took care of the thing over. So I don't know if this is just a random flavor chosen for each of these or if they're just. <coughs> Looks like a standard Oreo. These really do just look like standard Oreos. For some reason to me, it tastes like a fruity pebble. With a bad aftertaste. Now, the thing is, are they all the same flavor? And that's the thing.
I think it's the same. Yeah, it's about the same thing. Yeah. At least Oreo's close in the so you can save them for like. Alright. Next up, I got these candies simply for the name. Alan's Bigfoot candy. Made with real fruit juice. I don't know what these things are. Do you know what these things are? I don't know what these things are. Okay, I smell like Swedish fish. I'm expecting these to taste like Swedish fish. Like, these basically should just be like Swedish fish. Okay. Looks like a foot. It's 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 like a bigger Swedish Swedish fish. These honestly might be better than Swedish fish. I probably should have had a palate cleanser. These, honestly, I think might be better than Swedish fish. I mean, the one thing that's bad about them is presentation, because it's a foot. But. I mean, it literally tastes like a Swedish fish. So, I've got no complaints. Hello there, mother. There you go. No! Fine, I'll take another one. This will be my palette cleanser. There you go. Throw in some uh, hashtag we love mommy Vegas in the comments. Mm. Those are actually pretty nice. I like those. I'm going to go grab me a bottle of water. That might be a good palette cleanser. Final thing of this first bag is something I've been dreading. Russell Stover coconut. Now, you remember the stupid caramel marshmallow thing I got last time? They did it again! Only it's coconut. Ridiculous. I'm gonna give myself a Swedish fish. Bigfoot Swedish fish. Just get these in my troubled mind. So Russell Stover's are not only going to ruin coconut for me, but they're also going to ruin dark chocolate. Ever since I've been alighted to their cruel, cruel ways. <coughs> smells like a gosh dang sugar pit. What the heck? Not even gonna read off the sugar count. Not even. I don't even want. So they're individually wrapped, which is another sin. Another cardinal sin. Why don't we do that? At least these have the benefit of being smaller than the gosh dang marshmallow ones. I remember, these were so bad. The the last ones were so bad, I gave them to you guys. Which you guys probably enjoyed them. There we go. Alright, there's a little coconut nugget of death and destruction. <sighs> Think happy thoughts. One, two, three. How do you make dark chocolate sweet? How do you... I... Everything's too sweet. That's the problem I have with Russell Stover. Everything's too sweet. Even for me, I like coconut stuff. I like coconut. I'm one of those guys. The coconut's actually tolerable, but the dark chocolate is just ugh. It's the worst thing ever. I might have to give you guys these two. I can't. One, one nearly puts you into a sugar cone.
But good news is, as I'm one, I'm one bag down. So there we go. So we're halfway through. How long have we been filming for? Fifteen minutes. Talk about a special. Anyway. Hopefully, I can get this all in one take. Just so it doesn't take five hours. Anyway. There you go. The next bag isn't that big, though. Anyway, remember those um, nip candies I had in uh, the Halloween special? Well, I alluded to the fact that they had another flavor in there. Here's that other flavor. Butter rum nips. I'm actually going to try these. And I'm probably going to hate it. It's basically just a Werther's original with stuff inside of it. Which, I saw um, Sour Apple Werther's original, which I bet those would be good, because it's like caramel apple. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take this tool that I had for something else. I'm going to change it to this. Gotta make use of your tools, right? I'm a savage. Anyway, thank you. These are also individually wrapped, but then again, they come in twist wrappers. Watch like the Jolly Ranchers. Okay, here we go. Battle of True Destiny. There you go. Butter rum flavor. I don't like this at all. tasting alcohol that much and I don't get the feel for it but I don't know maybe you might like these things there you go suck on it they're pretty hard there you go there you go dad's opinion I'm actually gonna go grab the camera to go see his reaction there you go probably haven't seen him yet this is your big starring moment there you go Told you. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So these are literally old people candy. You thought Werther's original were old people candy? No. These are old people candy. Alright, there you go. So, there you go. You enjoy it. So there you go. Did you enjoy me gagging? Probably you enjoyed me gagging. <laughs> Not you guys, but the lovelies. Anyway, it's fine. I get to wash that down with it. Glorious taste of these things. Super Sports Real Milk Chocolate Flavored Candy. By Palmer? Is that the company? I don't know. They, they put a happy face in their logo. Ugh. Mom, did you hear me, wretch? Are you done? No. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> Yeah, I gave one to Dad, and he just said that I'm not familiar with alcohol. Oh my God. I don't want to have to... I'm not going to have to slice open every package. This is the most stubborn. I'm not trying to destroy my teeth that badly. I'm smelling sweetness through the package. That can't mean anything good. 
Anyway, I've had these kind of um sports. I've had these sport ball candies before. Uh, they're these nice little aluminum package thingies. Um, there you go. There you go. I don't know if they're all differently flavored. I'm not gonna try every one of them because that would probably give me a heart attack. Soccer ball. I'm doing the soccer ball because why not? Yeah, I guess your typical way too sweet chocolate. Nothing really special. I'm gonna wash it down with water. Man, this bag is not treating me well. Who would think I would have bought so many nasty, nasty bad things? <laughs> Alright, whatever. These are so cheapo, they hurt. So cheapo. Alright. Anyway, next up we got the, um, got a big old thing. This is a big hunk bar. I bought this because of the name and because of this. This thing's rock solid. There you go. It's, remember the look bar from before? The Halloween special? This is basically the same thing, except probably larger. It's made by Annabelle's. Actually, wasn't that the same company that made the look bar? Oh, anyway. uh, let's crack a lack of this thing. Oh my gosh, I like this. It's gluten-free, so if you're on a gluten-free diet, then uh, have fun. You can have one of these. Even for normal people like me who just eat stuff, how does it take an eternity to get through? Okay, so the, this is just caramel with peanuts in it, whereas the look bar had chocolate on top. Okay, so uh, let's see how long it takes for me to get one bite down. That's a peanut. It's like churning up peanut butter in your mouth. It'll take me a solid five minutes to get one bite of it. See, I like a nougat. Pretty much a lot of people like nougat. I don't see how people could like this. The look bar was actually better than this because of the chocolate, I think. Well, that one lied about peanuts. This don't lie about peanuts. <sighs> there you go. It took me like a solid three minutes just to get one bite of this. Technically two. One and a half. Just give me one. Alright, and finally, the moment that one certain person has been waiting for, the last candy that I have in these bags, it's happening. I'm, I'm finally trying Boo 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 Boo. Oh, it's strawberry? Huh. I thought it was jello. Alright. Maybe this is not the original. I'm gonna get corrected. I'm gonna get correct. I'm gonna get corrected in the comments. I'm looking over at my dad for motivational support. Alright. Am I really gonna go? Ah! Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
bonus. How do you? This is not an easy open tab thing. Forget this. Candy bar at me. <laughs> all right, all right. This was the only package of Boo Boo Lulu -Boo they had at ninety nine. Give it smell. Okay, it's really sweet, and it already broke. I'm gonna pull out the hole. What do you got me eating, Doodle? What do you want me to do? Here you go. Feudal cheers. Probably not gonna like this. Strawberry jam and marshmallow. How am I gonna just don't like strawberry jelly? Or jam? Oh, really hard to sit. I'm going to wash it down with water. I know I'm a little bitch. <clears throat> I hated that. You know it changed a lot. That was horrible. <clears throat> Yep, futile. It confirmed. I hate these things. I knew I wasn't gonna like them. I knew. So there you go. That's all the candy. Now, you may be looking at the bottom of this video and you're like, "Hey, you got a lot of time left." I was thinking about doing the same thing that I did for the uh, Halloween special, where I shoved a bunch of things into a, a uh, extravaganza category. But this time, now I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm just Throw in a couple sodas. And by a couple sodas, I mean literally a couple sodas. Uh, first, we're going to try some Mexican Coke. Which is literally the only reason I have this thing. But I decided to use it as a... Oh. There you go. Bottle opener. What's up? Uh, this thing is miraculously flat. But it should be good. Actually, it does taste really good. You want to throw it in with some ice because it's a little flat. Let's test it. Let's test how flat. Alright, so I got a cup of ice. Let's just see how flat you really are. It's not that flat. Weird. So bottles with caps don't produce as much carbonation at first as bottles with caps. With well, bottles with caps don't produce as much carbonation as the one that don't have caps. I think it's diluted by the water, actually. Ah, uh, yeah, pure sugar. No sweeteners. That's why Mexican Coke is good. There you go. There you go. Uh, in, in your own best interest. Try to get it. Should be in a glass bottle. Should read with Spanish on it. Oh wow, there's only a couple additives in there. 
not 70,000 like this next drink I'm about to try, which, which is Mountain Dew Ice. Now, I could have found Pepsi Ice, but instead I found Mountain Dew Ice. I found this in a video once, and I was like, what is this? And I didn't care. But, here you go, we're about to try this thing, which, if it's good enough, I'll probably end up absorbing the whole thing into my body, but probably not. So, here we go. There we go. This is basically Mountain Dew in Sprite form. When I saw she said she was going out for me. Taste it. This is so crazy, David. This is pretty weird, but it's awesome. It's basically Sprite with a, with a little teeny tiny bit of that. Mountain Dew Ice with a splash of real juice, lemon and lime. Hmm. You know, since I'm a man of living on the edge, and also a complete total idiot, let's fuse these two together and see what happens. Uh, promise you that this is not going to taste good. But you know what? I'm a man of, of going where no man has gone before. I go where no human dares to go. Here we go. This is the worst flavor combination you can probably ever ask for. There you go. Wow, look at that! Mixing cola together with lemon lime soda makes it look like, makes it look like ginger ale. <laughs> it literally looks like ginger ale. What? Maybe it's just good ginger ale. High school, middle school, high school. They caught the kid? Former student. Two? Maybe former student. Oh, that was one. I might have just accidentally... I, I, think, I think I just accidentally made ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> I just accidentally made ginger ale. Accidentally? I accidentally made ginger ale. I took these two... Uh, sodas and fuse them together. Okay then. <laughs> oh, now you're saying 16 dead. What a way to bring about your Valentine special. Sorry. Oh, big kinds. We used to have those when I was a kid. Watch out, those will rip your dental work out. I. It took me three minutes to get one bite down. Yeah. I didn't know they still made those. While you're here, do you want one of these? I'll say that I've had them before. They're lemony, huh? They're basically lemon heads in a Jolly Rancher's body. There you go. But there you go. Well, that's the Valentine special. How long have we been going for? 33 minutes? Jesus Christ. All right, whatever. There you go. Um, well, we went through a lot of things. Um, so I think the next holiday special that I might do for Reaper Tries is at Easter, which is next month. Fun. So I may end up having to hit a couple dollar stores just to get that done because 99 has a pretty limited set. Like none of these were Valentine Day, uh, Valentine Day inspired. Unless I wanted to roast heart wafers. Or if I wanted to review some stupid peeps that were heart shaped. But anyway, um, there you go. Uh, a toast to all of you, uh, you two fine people, for helping me along the road. And then people, uh, probably make a list in the description. That I love you all. I love you all equally. Anyway, there you go. So anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.